juga Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are at. I hope you all having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Yo, oh, that's me. That's actually me. What the fuck? Okay, there you go. My mouse. I was worried about my mouse uh, uh, going off screen or something like that, dude. Yo, what the fuck? I just looked down. What do I do? Edith Finch. Like, this is, is this me? Or... A lot oh, of this me. isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. It's like this right off the rip? No fucking way. Wait, wait, is this me too? Oh my god, this is me. Yo, this looks good. Yo, I got a ring on my, ne my necklace. Let's go, huh? Let's be zooming in. So the game is called What Remains of Edith Finch, right? I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Okay. Bro, why are these, what does this plant look like bells? That's me zooming into you, by the way. Cool. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Bro, why does it feel like I'm in a zoo or some shit? Do you hear the thing? No trespass on the property is protected by video surveillance. Trespass will be prosecuted. Holy shit, you hear that? In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The Finches. Imagine your last name being Finch. That's so dope. Wait, so do I go down or do I go up? I'm gonna go up. This actually looks really, really good. Look at that shit, dude. Oh my goodness. They only have like one plant in this game, though. It's the bells. I wouldn't have driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. I've driven this way in a long time. Okay. Bro, this shit better not follow me. It's a deer. Yo, this happened to me before. I was on a date with this, uh, this lovely lady, right? And we went on this trail. Um... It was late at night. We, we, we went to the movies and we had dinner and all that together. And we wanted to kind of hang out a little bit longer. So we went on a walk um, on this trail. And as we were walking, this was in front of us. And it looked directly at us and then walked away. It was one of the most coolest moments ever. It was so dope. It was so dope. The truth is, it happened twice, actually, even after about. I inherited the house... I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Bruce, so this the is like house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. So yeah, this this house looks like it's been abandoned for a hot minute. Yeah, this car can still move. Look at that. The tires look good. Let's go. The ultimate treehouse. Is that really a treehouse? Bro, that's fucking lit. Bro, imagine. Oh, hey, gas dude. I'd lose. So, is the title of this game a question or a statement? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We just started. So, you just came in just on time, dude. What's up, Epic Man? Thank you for the gift, too, as well, bro. That's nice As a you, child, man. the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Creepy, cringy. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. 
I was afraid of the house. Oh, I thought, they, I thought the thing was going to open up on us magically. That'd be kind of cool. That'd have been a dope little segue into the game, you know? I think it'll make us walk. This is actually, like, I mean, you got a lot of shrubbery you got to clean up and whatnot, right? You know? But, like, yo, this right here? Bro, that's... This this house, honestly, like, in its prime, would probably be worth millions of dollars. Hundred, hundred, like, at least a million. An uh, easy million. Well, it depends on where it's at, too. Downside, maybe, like, I would say maybe a, a good three, four hundred thousand dollars. Shit, maybe a little more than that. Maybe, like, five, like, half a mil? Yeah, maybe half a mil might be a good, a good mother. Yeah. Fucking beautiful, though. See you. Guy, just gotta drag you away from Smite from time to time? True. True, true, true. I got I got my I got my, my smite injection earlier though from uh watching the SPL a little bit. Nah, th today's matches were okay. They weren't all that. Oh boy, is this a choose your own path kind of game? I don't know. Is this a horror game? I don't know. <laughs> I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. That's creepy. I would not want that. What? Could you imagine? Like you're like in the middle of waking up in the morning, back, we we'll get you a coffee, and you see someone, like, you know, taking my bro, like bro, no. Now, with the property, my guess is at least 1.5 mil. Even with the rundown mess, it's still probably a, a, a lot of property. Pro perhaps, perhaps. I'm not, I'm not talking about entire space. I was just talking about specifically just the house itself. Uh, and, but the thing is, though, is that, like, price is going to vary based on location, right? Like, location is, like, huge. Like, you know, you get, like, a, a crappy condo apartment in, in uh, I don't know, L.A. It's probably going to be fucking millions of dollars, uh, a million dollars for it, right? Whereas you go to like Texas or Georgia or something like that, and it's just like maybe three hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. About the she, dragon in the pond. It's different. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. Yeah, but like seriously, what did I do? So like the front door is not available, right? Uh, let's see. If there's a way we can go around. Put the jump, uh, husband jump in. I know, right? You gotta find the remains of Eden Finch? No, it says what remains. Oh, you got your husband. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Man, why don't we just bust the window and go in there, bro? All these fucking walking and shit that we got in there? Maybe we gotta go to the side over here, huh? Oh yeah, there's an opening, see that? Yeah, this doesn't feel ominous at all. I don't like how she w Oh, she's going through it like that. Oh, okay. Crawling through oh, the doggy door okay. used to be a lot easier when I was 11. So whoever we are, we are, well, I mean, I guess, I think we are Edith Finch. Because remember, when we opened the book, it says Edith Finch is like as if we're going from, through, from her perspective, right? I'm assuming. The power had been turned off the night we left. Did you already get startled, so? I thought, I thought there was going to be some kind of blue monster coming up when we looked up, you know? Bro, I don't know what kind of game this is, dude. Like, they didn't, they didn't tell me in the pamphlet, bro. <laughs> Leave me alone. Nice little music ambience. For the like first it. time in years, I felt like I was home. Oh, that's a feeling that not like, unless you've been away from what you consider home, it, that's a that's a that's a feeling, bro. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Eddie, Edith, and Lewis and Don. Oh, and loving memory, Lewis Finch. No, Louis is dead? 
Oh, shit. December 1988 to November 2010, he was what? At, uh, at 20, that's 2008. He was 22 years old when he died. Oh, that's so young. Oh. Oh, that sucks, dude. Son of Don. That's the mother on the left end, okay? Great grandson to Eddie. Edie. Great, great. Okay, so that's, you know, Baba. Alright, let me see. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Bro, delivery though, man? That's one thing I like about my current spot, dude. Yo, we got a lot of options, bro. That's nice, dude. That's nice, dude. Damn, they got me caught to play real luck right now. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something. One of my realest, my realest struggles. You know, you boy trying to save some money, right? You know, plus we a little too chung chung sometimes. Uh, ordering out, bro. Oh my god, dude, it's a it's a battle not to. Like yesterday, I had a fight not to order food, dude. That shit was that shit was real. It's a mess though. Okay. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Wait, so did we leave it in an emergency? It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Only thing I can say is that it's a variety filled game, but the storytelling is great. Okay. Hope for a repay. She said earlier that she hadn't been back since her brother passed. Oh, yeah, true. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. Doesn't sound like a good place to rebuild that, no? Ooh, okay, so like the fact that this is by like the sea or something like that, I think it ups its value even more. So I could I could easily agree at 1.5 mil now. Yo, why are we trying to be like realtors or some shit? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this house though, or this this screen? Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Good little 50 inch, you know what I'm saying? Maybe 45, 47, I don't know. Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. That's ominous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Bigfoot in the back. Talking all the crap. Ooh. Spitting bars. Going Right. Mom always uh, told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Bro, that door is easily breakable. Come on now. Put your back into it. Alright, then the whole bottom yard, uh, the bo bottom yard, the bottom, uh, area is done. Can we unlock this? No? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Dude, this family went through the ringer, bro. One, one child dead? Fucking another one got missing? Fuck me, dude. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Yo, so what ha- What happened? Oh, they actually let you go through! Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That sounds weird. Yo, this thing's sealed, though. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. You know, that sounds like some typical grandma, mama bullshit that you gotta deal with, you know? Be like, you're not gonna do this, oh yeah, I'll say less bitch, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Well, thankfully my mom and my grandmother get along pretty well. 
I don't know about my pop side though. Molly. 1937 to 1947. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Wait, so wait a minute. It's like th th this house is like constantly full of like, yo, what? You know how it looked like they, they kind of just scaled the house up and they had like a little treehouse? What if like each room is just one family member's room, right? And when they die, that's sealed. It's like it's like, it's like like a a time capsule of their, of their lives or some shit, you know? Yo, that'd be lit. Also expensive, but lit, dude. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that 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 wallpaper, that's kinda lit too. Bro, look at that. Yo, I would be a uh, shit. This room's dope. I'd be in here too. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. No way this opens that up. Turns out. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. I would love this room. My own compartment, bro, in a book? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. That's not weird at all, right? That's a bit, that's, it's a cat. It's not too bad, I thought that was something else, I'm not gonna lie. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Where's some bullshit about to happen, hold on. Just Brace. like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. It's saved, oh no. Wait, this is Molly's room, no? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That's kind of cool. That sounds super sanitary to put in the drawer, though. Oh, never mind. You can put it in there. I'm lit. Nope. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. She says she's going to be gone soon. What? What the fuck says that? I, like... My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, that sucks. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Yoink. Bro, we just stole from the gerbil. Oh no. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. I don't need to get out. This, this is going crazy. Mom, can I come out now? Wait, they locked her in here? It's late. Go to sleep. Oh, people, people, time deal. Let's go. I kept eating and eating. A lot of things that night. At least it's her breast minty. Let's go, dude. Pop. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. 
Oh, this is where she dies. And suddenly... I was a cat! But the bird is really scared. Come here, you little shit. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm a dope ass cat. You see this shit, dude? I'm nimble as fuck. Look at this speed. Ready to go? Oh, is it there? Okay. Am I actually supposed to catch this thing? I'm kind of, I'm kind of bugged. I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Well, all I cared about promise. was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. Oh, we did though. Suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. That's me! Oh shit, this is lit! Wait, I don't know where to go though. I'll be honest with you. I have to catch this some bitch. Okay, where's that motherfucker? Oh, I see you. Wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Talk about a glutton. A mama rabbit. Oh, we about to eat tonight, boys. Let's go. I suck. Oh, I caught her. Oh, I don't suck. Let's go. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What a dream, bro. This has to be a dream. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Done it. Done it, done it. Done it, done it, done it. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Oh, eat it. Her flipper, and it tasted really good. Can I do a, a somersault in the air? Come on. Oh, dude. Am I a fucking squid? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Yeah, I 
I got a long ass tentacle, dude. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Wrong way. I'm bad at this game. I can barely see. started growling. Stomachs. Plural. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. Oh, we're so it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. True, I'm a fucking snack baby. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of this room. I think that's a good start, right? Yeah? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen stories we gotta watch out for? Oh shit, I'm not ready for this. Molly crazy. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. It's a lot of birds. Bird cages, I guess. She was a painter too. Oh, she got skills. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. 
Her room was like a museum. For 500 What's years, up, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. So they are cursed. Wait, how do I get out of this? Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Nice. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. So yeah, it feels like it every was a pretty big trace. So yeah, like every single part of the house has like some kind of memorial to like a person of the family. That's actually, although the, the, there could be some creepiness behind that. That's actually kind of cool. Like you know, like you know, like some families they have like a family tree wall or something like that, or you know, stuff, right? But, like, having a whole room in the house, I mean, it's just expensive, I guess, would probably be the, un the unethical thing about it, but... That's so dope. There's a secret in this bathroom. Yo, this, this key is, like, god tier. It's unlocking everything, bro. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Yo, I like this house, dude! A little bit. Maybe I'm gonna get too excited. I don't know, there might be some bullshit in here, though, too. Calvin Finch. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Milton was here too. Yo, do you think Milton killed himself? No way. He must have learned something from this though, because he's he he did the same He's been in the same areas we're going to now. Why does your skin look like that in their neck? Oh that's hair, never mind, okay. Skeleton can now, right, dude? I mean, those mess locks are pretty easy to pick. Sound like a burglar punch? I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Calvin. And that he never talked about him. To command center. Oh, that's so dope. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. This is so fucking cool. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. 
and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Bro, I'm about to eat. Hold on one second. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. No fucking shot. No fucking shot. I Are told we about to him eat? going around was impossible. Nah, we could do it. Maybe I done it before. I hadn't said that. Let's go. Let's go. Get them gains, baby. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Let's go! Let's go! That's the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. So that's how he died, I guess, huh? 1960 to 19... Wait, uh, did I see that story right? felt strangely familiar. 1950 to 1961, when I was younger, he was I remember old, trying bro. to do the Fuck. exact same thing. My boy, Calvin was here for a good time, not a long time, you know what I mean? Have you really paid attention, though? Look at this. 1937 to 1947, 10. Calvin, 11. Barbara's like 20... You know, 16? 16. Yeah, I'm good at math. Let's go. Uh, Eddie only made it three years, bro. No, I can't. I can't. Wait, no, I'm wrong. He made a lot longer than that. What am I doing? <laughs> he made it. He, 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 Eddie, Eddie made it to Edie made it to her, her, her in years, you know what I mean? Fucked up, dude. <laughs> After the funeral. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. You gonna put it back? No? I guess we don't get that much of Mom a Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Excuse me. Bro, what is up with this, like, fucking, you know... This shit! <sighs> you know, I was thinking of a series of unfortunate events, bro. Like, they had some weird-ass inventions, but they were cool as shit, you know? The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Oh, I get the, the Bigfoot reference now. Let's go. That's creepy. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yo, that's gotta be worth a lot of money, bro. If it's that old, dude, let's go. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now, Wait, is that really? No fucking she was shot. All washed up, a has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately. Her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. 
her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. (laughs) Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Meta unlocked Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. That Michael Myers type shit, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. That sound, I'm scarred mentally for life for that for that, that fucking soundtrack, dude. And the reason why is I remember I was listening to it like a remix version of that. And uh, we were driving in a Honda Civic. It was my mom and me. Uh, we just got that done. We, we just got done uh, going to church and stuff, right? And we're going up this hill. And my mom, my mom was like, you need to turn that off. You know, that's, that's, that's weird. Blah, 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 right? Uh, and... Right as we're going up the hill, uh, a fucking deer passes right in front of our car, and she goes, "Oh my god!" And, and she, you know, they start speaking in Spanish, she's like, "You know, oh my god, you know, about this." Start, start, start praying or some shit, right? <laughs> and I'm like, "What happened? What happened? I'll turn it off! I'll turn it off! I'll turn it off!" And ever since then, I can never fucking listen to this soundtrack, bro. Oh god. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. This shit, dude. Okay. Oh, yeah. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. What's up with people eating people? just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Can we knock a book over? Yeah, hear my well, watch my rattling. I didn't know this is connected to my controller. Listen, y'all can probably hear it. Ah, 
Alright, let's go. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be creepy and intense right now. Is that a roll? That's a roll, but okay. Walter, are you there? Walter wow. vanished. I think his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Barb returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Out of here. That night, she played her part beautifully. So, what happened to Walter? Is he dead? the logical thing to do. You're gonna go back in there and try to fight this motherfucker? Like, come on now. Stupid. And he's not there either. Son of a bitch. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh, that's nasty. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> I like the way they handled that. That was good, dude. Oh, they lose the thing right there to the ear. That's fucked up. I thought we were gonna get Bigfoot or some shit. No, they fucking gave us everything, dude. To be remembered, as absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. God damn! I saw someone said this earlier. Epic. Imagine dying and someone makes a fucking comic book out of you about you and how you died, bro. First off, if I got murdered, that suck. But having a comic book made about me would be kind of lit. 
I don't know if we can like separate the two, maybe, you know? Hey. <laughs> Honestly, sounds profitable, but gruesome, dude. Lol. The Chris is just stupidity. Kid eats himself off of the swing into the ocean. Oh my god. Girl fucking goes into the basement that was locked. Guy throws himself on the table saw. Murdered. Yeah, I know. This is weird, man. What an interesting story. Can we go back this way? We can. Oh my god. There was another door I saw I over here. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. We don't need to go in there. We were actually Barbara in there. was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Bottom floor, right? That's the bottom floor. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it, right? Because we went this way, and we went in there. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement Molly's key. room. We done these two already. We could go in the basement. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. So we already got Gregory, right? I don't know if we got Gregory or not. No. I think we missed something in there then. Because Calvin, we did. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. I kind of feel like I missed something here. Do we have to go all the way around? I don't want to go to the basement now. I don't have to do all this shit over again. Wait, so whose room is this one? This sounds like a good idea, right? I don't know, man. Maybe the monsters came back and ate it. They went their seconds, you know? Get a little snacky snack. What if the family were the monsters? Yeah. Holy moly, that'd be fucking dang. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Wait, so Edie said it's a story about a dragon eating her husband, right? Oh shit, that's fucked. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh, beautiful segue. Perfect statement. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Yo, they got Alvinos. Let's go. If there's a pattern in all these stories. Tasty beans. Benny Baloo. Mm -hmm. no. Happy mornings. Sweet Chris. Sweetie Chris. I, I can't read that shit, dude. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter. 
Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaving started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Yo, my freaking remote, Having my, my controller is like spazzing. Today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... Stop. See that time go by? Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. I'm a waiting for him too. Got tired of eating uh, Alvinos, dude. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly. Oh, it's the Calvin. same little the little thing Bob dude. Oh shit. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. out there I want you to know I'm ready for it my man gonna die quick too watch. I'm going to appreciate all of it especially the food I don't mind if I only have a year left or a month or a single week I'd be happy with one new day watch this should just be a train bro <laughs> you can already imagine the sun Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Fuck is that thing, bro? Fuck is that thing, bro? It's a monster in the train, bro. Ah, I gotta focus, I gotta focus. That fucked me up. Oh, poor Walter, bro. My man said, I'm gonna embrace life. Eww. Okay. Damn, you can tell that motherfucker had a whole sure last life, too. I'm sure trying to protect me. That's <laughs> fucked up, dude. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. 
<laughs> What's worse too is my my man was like, "Yo, I'm ready for. It. I don't care if I got a a month, a week, you know. Let me have minutes, bro." Just buy for 30 years, finally get the courage to picture out all just to get my dream. That's but if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Don't, don't, don't be a Walter either, bro. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Nah, he dead, trust me. Now that there's only one of us left. We've been here before, or guys. Maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Excuse me. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. You know what? That's true. That's true. There's a saying. I don't. I don't know. It's like you know. You detest something so much that you try so hard to, to abstain from being it or to, to rebel being it. You end up becoming it as a result. Some shit, man. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Probably not. You're gonna become another room. Yeah, they put a fucking train. <laughs> no way. Did they? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. No fucking shot. That's fucked up. <laughs> Yo, this got dancing people on it too. Look at this shit. Oh, that's fucked. Oh man, y'all got me trolling over here. That's fucked up. <laughs> Bro, that's funny. That's funny as shit, dude. Oh, fuck. I'm crying. I don't care if I have years, months, a week. Maybe it'd be better if all this just here. died with me. Rest in peace, Walter, dude. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Fucking hell, going there, dude. You're fucking with me, right? Take on. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. No, you're just probably probably you're, you're fucked, dude. Let's be real. Oh, hit back into I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Question: Why did the lights lead this way? Am I being trolled? Oh, they just light up whenever you walk past them. Oh, that's cool. Put this shot on YouTube, dude. I'm gonna title the video. I don't care if it's months. <laughs> Alright, sorry, years, months, a week. Perfect title. And when you look at the house, had that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. Bro, this Finch family is fucked. Can I just say that? Are we all in agreement? I think we've been surrounded by death 
for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Yeah. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Okay. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Christopher Shadow, Three of the were mine, and two had been my fault. That's fucked up. Oliver, Bob, Lucy, Derpy Jr., Derpy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy, Lurpy, Zerpy, Zoe, Coco. That's a lot of Erpies, dude. Bailey, why did Bailey get a big ass one? Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Okay, 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 okay. That's that's cute. Having you right beside you know? That's dope. Do you notice that like, there's separation between all of them, right? But then those two are together, you know, husband and wife, that's nice. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Dope, first off. Super, super dope. That's fucking cool. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. The older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Looks like they started getting less creative as they got older. I don't know, man. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. I'll be honest with you. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. No! Oh shit. This felt like you gonna die some, you know, you gonna die some type shit, you know what I mean? I never met Grandpa Sam. But that's but that's a red I flag if I ever heard my one. My mom had a lot in common. Is that milk cartons? They were both pretty intense. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. I'm 
Oh my god, awards though, you see that? Let's go. Dawn, I promise. You'll never These forget transitions? This They're too clean. Yes, though. sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Hmm? Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Dad, it's starting Aww. to clear up. Still freezing, though. I don't know why I'm supposed to be taking a picture of it, bro. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it honest with you. Yeah, sing, huh? Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hold still. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Boy, how to go people who poo did. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. I don't know what this fan taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. Found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Bro, it's nature. What do you Oh, well, here we go. Let's see. Maybe. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. What was it? Could have been. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Great shot, Don! Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Selfie time! I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, 
It's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Dad! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. <laughs> no. dear, like, I'm about, I'm about to end this man's career. Motherfucker over here trying to get people to hit a little girl and shoot me and shit. Yeet! Damn. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Wait, is there anywhere else we can go? Oh, towards me. I guess I got there. Okay, never mind. Store sealed. Yeah, okay. Alright. That deer had enough of his shit, bro. I'll tell you that much. That's fucked. That's why, you know, there's the guy have a level of respect for nature, bro. I'm telling you, man. Just some shit you just don't. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. This feels like a school type deal. Wow, a lawsuit. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. This kid only lasted a year long.
Frog, dude. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm sure he's happy. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. You got five more? I mean, that's child negligence, isn't it? You know, that's kind of fucked up. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... 1969 to 1982, add 10 years at 79, still not on there, so... 10, 11, 12, uh, wait, not 10, 11, 12, 13, he was 13 years old? 13 years old. A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now remember. pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Hell yeah, for rebellion. Wait, that's not how it works, right? I'm sorry. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, my man about to get struck by lightning. Oh, shit. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. All my father said to this was, make the music louder. This is me, by the way. Everything. 
not me. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Yeah, that's not good. Four more. Family's cursed as fuck, dude. No idea about the kite away? I guess so. <laughs> Chris would not think it. One of the children literally yeeted himself off a ledge into the ocean. That's true, too. It's fucked up, though, man. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. Like, what is that noise? I don't know where to go from here. Let me do one more. Let me let me do one more walk through. See if I miss anything here before I uh, go back outside. Yeah, this game's weird. We did all that, right? There's a thing there. I like, climb up there, but I don't think there was anything else for us to do up there, no? <sighs> Wait, do we keep going up? No, it takes us there no matter what. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. <sighs> when my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Dude, we're in that very tippy tippy top area, I think. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday when Edie gave him a castle. King shit, baby. Oh, his thing doesn't After have the Milton thing on there. The only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings.
think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Why do they seal the room? That's so weird. in the magic paintbrush. Too, where like, they start off with the paper and, and then they turn the into an animation. So, so, so cool, dude. I wish I was talented like that, man. No troll. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Did Mama kill him? Oh, shit. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Lewis. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. <laughs> I see why. <laughs> Fair enough. This is actually a cool ass spot though, if you think about it, bro. Look at this shit, dude. Top tier, man. That's so cool. Lewis is very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Far out, man. Lewis like, I and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Only got the game cast? <laughs> I said you did there. Don Finch. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the camera. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wander. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Wait, 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 if I go up there, this is the big. Imagining a labyrinth. Fall behind in my work.
he'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. Sucks a lot after, guys. He'd find himself. On the desk. But he found something more. Oh, we went three dimensional. Oh, shit. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Why does my man look like a magician? A wizard. He told me he made a, wizard, a new Harry. friend. On the edge of a city, he named Lewis Topher. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming. So people. weird. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Bless me. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Monster asking on point. Oh shit, we're still going. Okay. Fuck. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis here. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Grab your hand. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Oh, we get a pick. He's a queen, dude. A handsome queen, a beautiful prince. Handsome Queen. Interesting. I can't control this shit worth a damn, though, I'm telling you, honestly. The 
queen was on her own quest for. Sinister serpents. This is cool. Followed the sound of her. Pipes are really rare. <laughs> Silver Hawk. Bro, it's hard to navigate this fucking boat. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. He was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. There's some truth behind that. How interesting. He's like, I'm on my king shit, baby. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Wait, where are we going up on this? Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder, The palace would be packed with his companions. Okay. Including the wise calico he insisted on advising. The wise calico. What is a calico? Really? That's a, yeah. 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 His queen waited, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do.
Isn't that the thing that chops your head off? Bro, we're getting cucked. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. That's actually fucked. <laughs> no. Did my dude put himself inside the, the thing that, that cuts the fish and killed himself? Oh, that's so shitty. My brother was really cool. Yo. I wish you could have met him. This family's fucked. What the fuck? He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Y'all fucked up, bro. That's messed up, dude. That's actually so messed up. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Seems wasteful. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. I feel like I missed someone. Who did I miss? Edie herself, I think, is the one I missed. Maybe that's how we find out she dies? Oh, shit. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Dawn is her mother, right? That's what I'm assuming, yeah. yeah. Yeah, The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear Edith, 
There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I love how they have the texture. I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. in the trunk I think some of the uh, a few years went by some of the older vehicles like especially in the 2000s or something like that like I say what was that Ford Taurus they used to have a, uh, seats in the back that would be facing the exact opposite way and you can get in through the trunk uh, so yes but no at the same time I don't know my mom didn't like to talk about it but she started getting sick a lot rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is.
exactly what we're going this to do This journal right was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Shirley Dallas, huh? My kid technically has the whole house himself now, though. True.